Keep it chill. We live in the city of Stockton in Northern California. We have 54 schools. We have approximately 40,000 students. We have a $523 million budget. We are concerned about our planet in our school district. We want to show you what kids can do to help. Our goal is to reduce the money we spend on utilities through behavior modification. That means changing what they do and changing how they do it without spending a bunch of money. These small changes are like finding pennies, but those pennies have added up to almost 6.4 million saved by our district since 2012. We are doing our part. Historically, electricity has been between 70 to 80 percent of our annual utility costs. This is the majority of our expenses, so we have to concentrate on things that reduce our heating, ventilating, air conditioning, and lighting. Natural gas has been around 6 to 9 percent of our annual utility costs. Water has been 15 to 22 percent of our annual utility costs. Our school district needs that money for more important things like teachers and programs that can improve our test scores. And we should reinvest that money into additional conservation programs that maximize our savings and pay future dividends. So what do we do as a district to save money? Management and operation. Make sure you adjust HVAC schedules to only run on costumes are in use. You can also make work orders that are consuming energy a priority. Also adjust lighting schedules to only run when classrooms are in use. Invest in solar panels for school sites. Use the historical ETO data to adjust and minimize irrigation schedules. We all have to do our part to help conserve. Principals, you can do more than just inspire students. You can invite energy specialists to speak to your staff on a regular basis. You can also do your best to consolidate classrooms used for instructions or special events. Finally, use the work order system to alert ESS to any work orders that waste any utilities. Custodians, you're important to our campus for so many reasons. Use the work order system to report HVAC units that run after hours or when no one is using a room. You can seasonally adjust the light schedules to make sure lights don't run too long. Check for irrigation, faucet, or toilet leaks since water is so valuable right now. Make anything that wastes utility a priority. Teachers, you are so important to conserving energy. You can start by keeping the doors closed, lights off every time you leave the room. That means lunch, recess, assemblies, we mean every time. You can assign a student to be a member of our energy patrol. They can check all electronic devices at the end of the day to make sure they are properly shut off. All small things add up quick. Students, we need you to join the Energy Patrol. Think about all the things we've talked about so far. If you see anything that can waste energy, make sure you tell a teacher, custodian, principal, or any other adult on campus. The Energy Patrol is getting ready to leave. We need to make sure the doors closed and the lights are off.